Hello, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are first tuning in, my name is Esther and I am a nail artist, a nail content creator, and in this channel, I will be spilling all the tea on the nails. Well, all the tea that I know, and all the tea that I wanna spill. Okay, so selective tea. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the products that I use in order to create my nail art content. I get asked these questions over and over again, so it's only right that I make a YouTube video about it. So I have a link to send to everybody when they're curious about what I use. If you'd like to know what I use for my nail art content, then keep on watching. So first item are press-ons. Amazon, there are so many press-ons and the fact that they come in nude. Oh my God, this saves me so much time when I have to do a nail reel with nails on. Look, I started doing acrylic nails and I love my acrylic, but they just take me way too long. It smells too much dust. And when creating nail art content, I kind of need it faster. So because I'm not Miss Speedy Gonzalez doing acrylic nails in 30 minutes, I love to use these and I am all for the gel tip innovation and I can't wait for these to get bigger, better, and stronger. These nails come in different colors of nude, different shapes, different colors. These are all nude by the way. These were a little too light for me, but I bought them anyways because you just never know when you need them. These are a little too small for me. It's just all sorts. I might return these or give them away. I don't know, but look, they're all on my Amazon storefront and the link will be in the description below. Another type of press on that I have been using since last year, my dog bit my finger and that's how it all started. But she bit it so bad that my nail was split in half. So I had to wear press-ons. Then that's when I started realizing because I like to do nail art so much, these were so much faster. I have literally been putting people on since then because everybody's been asking me like, what, like where'd you find those? And girl, I see everybody using them now, which is great because it's a lot faster, especially if you're a nail artist and love to paint on nails. Press-ons are the thing. Get whatever is trying to spill out of you faster. Get you some press-ons and start painting, girl. Start making that content. And these are hella long. It really is the length for me. These are super long. Look at that. Super long, and I, I love them. These are just faster for me. And I'm sure it's gonna be faster for you if you don't already know these. Get you the, the link is below. I know press-ons have been out there, but a lot of people just don't even think about it. Like you don't have to be forced to use acrylic all the time, whether you're an acrylic artist or whatever. If nail art is your thing, girl, get you some press-ons, get you some gel X. It's all good. Now hear me out on this next one. It's not necessarily for content, but if you're always doing nails, if you, carpal tunnel is a real thing, preventative care, is real you need to take care of your wrists sleep with a wristband walk around with a wrist brace if you can when you're not working but my husband bought me this and it's the coolest thing ever and it massages my hand it squeezes my wrist it's a little pricey but if you can you should there's also heat on it like i love this thing this stand right here this is where I make all my babies. All my nail art reels come from this stand right here. I'll have my window open and other sources of light around, but this stand is my baby. I have bought so many things on Amazon. Thank God for their return system. I love it so much. Thank you, Amazon, you to shit. This stand right here has worked best for me because you know how like the phone is always in your way? It's not in your way with this stand. So I love this stand. And it has a plug right here with a USB or you can plug in a little box and plug it in wherever. It, it's great, I love this stand. I've, I've had this stand for a minute now and it's still working. Another really cool device that I bought, I found this lens on Amazon and I really love macro shots. If you know what macro shots are, it's pretty much a lens that helps you zoom in times a thousand. I don't know the, the, the exact, but it just zooms the F in to your focal point. And this right here, 
the minute I started using it, everybody was asking me, how did you do that? What camera are you using? It looks amazing. I use my iPhone 13 Max Pro, Pro Max, whatever it's called, and I clip this on and I'm recording. So here you go, just like that. And if you're gonna zoom in, then you have to move it over here and so on and so forth because it already has, this phone has a macro, a telephoto, and a wide angle lens. So I'll go ahead and insert some of the video that I get with this tiny little contraption here. If you want to up your game and show off the details inside your nail, or if you like encapsulated all this stuff, ooh, you're just making me excited. If you've encapsulated all sorts of glitter and marbled or whatever on your nail, a macro lens will really bring that out and just give us all sorts of oohs and ahs and all of that. So if you want to, invest in a macro lens. If you wanna get super high tech and super high quality with your content, then there are DSLR cameras, Sony cameras, compact Sony cameras that are very, very pretty, like the A6100. Um, the old school one I used to have was I think like an A700 or A something. It's, it's an old school one. I'll go ahead and insert a picture of it right here. But I have a DSLR. I need, I need to upgrade it. I think I'm gonna go for a Sony, but you know, the price tag. It's kind of like, you know what? I'm, I'll just stick to this for now. But I do have a Canon. I love this one. This one does flip out. And when I feel the need to, I'll set it up. But honestly, I can just do so much on my iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, girl, you're fine. Another tool, small but very mighty, is a remote. This connects with your Bluetooth, but I think it's great whether you have a DSLR camera or you're using your iPhone or even iPad. Get yourself a remote so you're not like continuously touching the button, moving the phone or whatever, or losing your place. You're just, you always have your button somewhere to stop and start recording. If you're someone who loves to go on live and likes to interact with their followers, I love this rig. This rig is awesome. It comes with a light, it's rechargeable and it comes with a holder just in case you wanna take it on the go. It comes with plugins for a mic, an external mic so you have better sound, and it also comes with a stand. You can also put it in the landscape way as well, but mostly for lives, you just stand it up. There we go. Turn on the light and go ahead and start your live. This next one isn't a product you can get on Amazon, it's an app. I use InShot in order to edit my videos and my reels, and I'm still trying to figure out how to do it the best way possible. So when that happens, I will share how I edit the best way because I love this app so much. So for those of you who keep asking like how I edit it, I use InShot. I know there are other ones. Go feel free to use whatever you like, but I use InShot because I just happen to already have that app installed on my phone. I can add music to it. I can add so much stuff to it. It's just the easiest for me to use. Another question I get asked a lot is, where did I get my stand? My stand, I get on Amazon and I use these little sticky things that I actually found on another content creator online and I just push them on there and I continue with my business. They're messy, they're dirty, they end up having all sorts of little paint on them eventually, And but they're my trusty, dusty, little nail press-on stand. I just like the white clear one because it's just like the less busiest. But for those of you who are asking where I got my stand, it's Amazon, like I said earlier. <laughs> it's on my Amazon storefront. So the glue tabs I use happen to be the glue tabs that people use in order to make like those balloon garlands. You can find these at the 99 cent store. You can find them on Amazon, rolls of them for cheap. I used to use the press on nail tabs for content, but now I just keep those for my press on orders. But these right here, just go ahead, pop one on there and voila, it's ready to go. You put your press on nail and you're ready to work. This next thing is a simple white poster board. You can find it at Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree. This is, I got it at Dollar Tree. It has a matte side and a glossy side. I like to use the matte side because then there's no like bounce, shiny light. 
doesn't like give away where my lights are. Um, but you can use either side, but just in case you have a situation going on on your content creating desk, this helps mask it. It helps hide whatever situation you got going on and it just creates a blank white aesthetically pleasing canvas for your nail content. Another small but very important item I feel like not a lot of people mention is a charger. You're gonna need it. And I love this charger because it's a quick charge, like it's a quick charge charger, and it's super duper long. This charger does not leave my sight. I need to buy another one just so I'm not so like greedy about it. I love this charger. It's fantastic. I even have it for my iPad. My stuff stays charged because I don't have time to wait for anything to be charged. So when you're creating content, charge your baby. I don't care if it says 80%, just, just charge it. Time will fly by. Another thing I recommend that a lot of people don't talk about is storage. Yeah, like where are you gonna put all these videos? If you're like me and you're constantly making videos, taking photos, and now the fact that you kind of have to do videos now because of TikTok and because of Reels, you have to record these videos in the most high definition possible on the device that you are using in order to create crispy, beautiful content. And in order to do that, you have to record in high def or 4K in my situation with my iPhone and 60 frames per second, which takes up all the space on my two terabyte phone. So I do have iCloud and I also have external hard drives that I do export my content into. That way I never lose it and I always have it and then I can clear up space on my phone. Yes, it is very important that you figure out where you're gonna put all this stuff because even the other day, my phone was like, no bitch, you ain't got room. And I was like, what? I was, I was flabbergasted at the fact that two terabytes was gone. As for the nail art brushes that I use, I use all sorts. There are some listed in my Amazon storefront and then these right here are beautifully done, beautifully made and so great to use. These are by Nail by Cleo and they are so fine. They come in a five pack, a two seven millimeters, a 12 millimeter. Oh wait, yeah. Two sevens, a five, a 20, and a 12 millimeter length brush. I love these brushes very much. They're very beautiful. If you haven't gotten them, you should. But I also have brushes on my Amazon storefront, depending on your budget. But these are beautiful. Also, another question I get asked is how do I clean my brushes? I use a brush cleaner from my local nail supply store. I have been using this since I started doing nails. I love it. It has not damaged any of my brushes since purchase, so I'm gonna keep using it. I also use alcohol. I don't really like to use acetone flat out because some of my brushes aren't coated to where they're safe for acetone. Although this brush cleaner does have slight acetone in it, it's not as harmful as straight up 100% acetone. I love using this for my acrylic brushes, for my gel paint brushes. I, I love this so much. So hopefully they sell it online. I do pick it up at my local nail supply store. If it's online, I will leave the link below. Another big question I get asked is, how do I glue my press-ons on? Well, I use glue tabs. And if I don't use glue tabs and I'm doing a nail reel where I have to record me applying the gel tip on, then you can use a peel off base and then continue with your gel or gel tip or gel X process and go from there and then remove them after you're done. That way you're not constantly removing or having to use acetone on your hands. There are glue tabs and peel off bases that you can use in order to take off what you just created. So I am a hot, greasy ball right now. I have been in these video camera lights all day now. It is now 8.32. I started a really long time ago. So I'm sorry if I'm getting shiny and my hair is getting frizzy, but it is what it is. But I hope I covered all the bases for you. If I didn't, go ahead and leave a question down in the comments below and I will go ahead and try to answer it to the best of my ability. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.